Hi, I'm Darren Ferrugia and welcome. In this video, I want to share a simple technique that's going to allow you to play your backbeat with a lot more freedom when you're playing grooves that are based on a hand pattern or grooves that are linear. So let's begin by looking at a basic rock style groove. I'm going to play eighth notes on the hi-hat, snare drum on two and four, bass drum one and three. One, two, three, four. What you'll notice is when I play the backbeat, my right hand is playing at the same time. And so therefore, in preparation of the backbeat, that is when I back lift the stick, my right stick is moving in sync with my left stick. So both sticks are in sync. However, we run into problems when we play grooves that are based on a hand pattern. I'm going to play a single paradiddle, my right hand on the hi-hat, left hand on the snare drum. I'm going to accent each downbeat. My right hand accents are going to be played with the shoulder of the stick on the edge of the hi-hat, my non-accented notes with the tip. On the snare drum, my backbeat is going to be played as a rim shot, and my non-accented notes are ghosted. So this is where we run into trouble. Let me play that for you. My right stick is getting in the way of my left stick. My right stick is hovering above the snare drum and it's kind of created this restricted airspace for my left stick to back lift. So there's a simple solution, and this technique is what I call the right hand sweep. Now obviously, if you're left-handed, it's gonna be a left hand sweep. If you're open-handed, then you don't even have to think about this. So the right hand sweep is a way of getting the right hand out of the way of the left hand. It gives my left hand a bit more space for its upstroke. Now the way I use this technique is by sweeping my right stick towards my left shoulder. In the case of a single paradiddle, I will sweep that stick on the second stroke of the right hand double. Right, left, right, right. Now the reason why I use this movement is because that means that the right stick is actually tracking the movement of the left stick. My left stick wants to move in this direction not in this direction, but in this direction. So in this case, the right stick will track the movement of the left stick this way. So let me play you the first five notes. Right, left, right, right, left. And right, left, right, right, left. What I try to do here is make sure that my right stick and left stick are in sync. As I sweep my right stick on the second note of the double, which is one sixteenth note before the back beat, or one E and R, I also try to play my upstroke with my left hand exactly one sixteenth note before the back beat. I'm going to go into a little bit more detail in a future video about timing your strokes. This is really important stuff, at least it is to me. So here are the first five notes of that paradiddle again. And take a look at the synchronized movement of the sweep and the upstroke. One, two, one, two. Now I'll complete the pattern. One, two, one, two. If you're playing a linear pattern, the same rules may apply. I'm gonna play you a linear groove, one that I like to play, and you'll see me using the same technique. It gets to a point where you don't have to think about it 
but initially you'll have to be very conscious and aware of the actual movements that you're making. One, two, three, four. Now when you practice this slowly, you may want to exaggerate the movements just to get it into your muscle memory. But what will happen in time as it does become part of your muscle memory and as you increase the tempo that you're playing your patterns at, the uh, movement will actually start to reduce in size and you would really economize the movement so that you're actually not moving excessively. So anyway, Give this a go if you're playing paradiddle or linear based grooves or grooves based on any kind of hand pattern. Practice it slowly at first, get comfortable with that movement, allow it to get in your muscle memory and see you next time.